My character in Transformers Rise of the Beasts, his name is Scourge. He is pretty much the top villain. Um, he worked under Unicron, of course, uh, who eats planets um, as a day job. Um, yeah, Scourge is uh, second to Unicron and the leader of the baddies. Um, and uh, he is about to uh, destroy our planet as we know it. Let's just say he has a chip on his shoulder. Yeah. Well, what's great about why it will resonate with, with fans of the Transformers uh, franchise is it takes place before the first Transformers movie. And so it's like sort of a prequel. Uh, you get to see characters like you've never seen them before that we've known. Um, and then it be introduced to some new characters um, that existed uh, before the franchise as we know it. So that sort of mix, it takes place in the 90s, which is such a fun era uh, here in New York City with all the music and, and the fashion. Um, so there's there's a lot to be mined there, um, and 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 Stephen and company have done an amazing job. What I'm most excited for audiences to experience with this movie is getting the the, I mean it's so much fun, but getting into the movie theaters again for, in the summertime. It's a summer blockbuster, and I think it can the the, the best uh, way of doing it is seeing it with a group of other people um, on the best screen possible. I grew up in the in the. Uh, with the Transformers cartoon in the 1980s. Um, and then I was, uh, yeah, we all, we just had that growing up. The voice of Optimus Prime was sort of everywhere. And, and we all had the, the Transformer robot toys or uh, kids. I was a little bit older. Um, I was a teenager around then. So the, the younger kids all had them. So, but yeah, it was a huge part of our culture growing up. Um, and uh, it's a testament to it because it's still it's still around and more popular than ever. My favorite Transformer is Scourge, of course. I have to have loyalty to my guy.